Welcome to Create Your Own Patriotic T-Shirt. Well, let's get started. First, we need something white. You can also use a bandana. In my case, I used a T-Shirt. Newspaper will come in handy. You're going to want to tuck it in between so that when you do paint the shirt, it doesn't bleed through to the other side or to the back of the shirt. Tucking it in carefully to make sure that I'm catching in the corners of the shoulders and all along the edge. Next, with some scissors, you're going to want to cut a regular size sponge into a smaller, kind of more handhold size sponge pieces. On some paper plates, you can set those aside, one for the red and one for the blue. Now, with your star stickers and your painter's tape, and I say painter's tape because I found that the masking tape doesn't peel off as nice and the painter's tape seems to work pretty good. I'm pretty familiar with it. Now, with the star stickers, in any kind of an order, um, I just thought as you look at the t-shirt to keep it on the left for the blue right at the top of the shoulder blade, and you can place them how you like. Now, this isn't gonna be a traditional American flag, but you'll get the idea as soon as you see it's finished that I mean to be very patriotic here. So I did 10 stars and I am thinking how I'm going to make sure that that blue section stays just blue. So I decided to start to prep my area with the blue painter's tape to make the specific area for where the blue area is going to be for the stars. What's tricky is making sure that you peel little short pieces and go along the curves of the seam line. I also wanted to make sure to get the top of the shoulder blade area where the uh, seams meet so that it wouldn't go all color on the back. I just want it to be on the front. The collar of the shirt was the other tricky part. Again, using little short pieces and working your way slowly and carefully and pressing firmly onto the t-shirt. I continued on with my stripes and these blue pieces of tape are going to become the white stripes. Again, I want to be careful about my other sleeve. I don't want to paint on the sleeve itself, so I made sure to prep that area as well. Thinking also, I want to make sure, being somewhat traditional anyways, that the red stripe will be first and I kept working down. Now technically we would have less stripes than I'm creating, but Eh, let's have some fun with it. Now the shirt goes a little bit long, so you could decide that you wanna go ahead and make the stripes go all the way down. It's up to you. This is your one of a kind t-shirt after all. Next, time to shake up the red fabric paint. Pour it onto your paper plate and start dabbing your sponge. And really, you can do it as thick or as thin as you want. I kind of like the sponginess of it, but what to note is to make it look like a really nice sharp crisp edge there, so it's white, make sure you have enough paint as tight up to that blue tape as possible. Part of me is a little bummed that I did make a boo-boo and have a little bit of that paint splash to the bottom, but that's okay. That's what makes this one of a kind. Just continue with the rest of the stripes, dabbing away. And as you need more paint, dab onto your plate and dab, 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 dab. Continue dabbing your red paint all over the stripes that you want to be red. This is pretty fun. It does take time. Don't rush the process. All right, not bad. Well, on to the blue because we want to make sure that those stars will eventually become the white stars with the blue background. So, Time to shake up the paint and take the top off and dump it onto the plate. It's 
So as we work over here, really be good about covering that star and getting all the edges. So that way when it dries and we peel off that star, it's a nice crisp line and it'll look like the shape of the star. So this might take a little bit of patience as you work around each of the edges of the stars. And now the fun part. Go grab a snack. I don't know, read another chapter in a book. Just relax and wait for everything to dry. And as I said, note to self, sometimes you do make little boo-boos and you might get a little blemishes or drops of paint on random spots. But this is a one-of-a-kind shirt and why not, right? As we wait for the paint to dry, why red, white, and blue? Well, red stands for bravery and strength, blue for watchfulness, perseverance, and justice, and white for purity and in innocence. 50 stars and 13 stripes, starting with a red at the top and ending with a red at the bottom. 13 colonies after all for the 13 stripes and 50 stars right, for the states. We're back. I hope you had a chance to let it dry and didn't get too excited. But let's go ahead and see the magic. Remember, anything that you had blue tape on or had the star on should become just white like the regular t-shirt part. So let's check. We're going to start with one of these star stickers and carefully peel it off. Oh, wow! Isn't that fantastic, friends? Oh, I am so excited at how this came out. This is gonna be great fun to wear with pride on any American holiday, whether it be Flag Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, or just any time. Let's see. I want to take a check and see if under the stripes here. Oh my goodness, friends. <gasps> Isn't it wonderful? Look at that. And it's going to be so much fun to just rip all the tape and stickers off as I discover how it came out from the sponge painting that we did. Oh, all right, friends. I'm going to turn off for a bit and I'm gonna keep on going so you don't have to keep watching me do this although it is really fun to peel this off I hope you enjoy it as much as I do Way to go. You did it. Create your own patriotic t-shirt.